Welcome to another Worth It video, a series where I buy bundles on the Dying Light 2 store, try them out, test them, see if they're worth buying at all so that you don't have to. Now before I continue, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a like on this video if you find it helpful and to subscribe to the channel if you find yourself coming back. Today we're going to be looking at the Retro Wave Redux bundle along with the Volcatronics Redux weapon. In the bundle you get two weapons along with their blueprints, the first one being the Dark Sickle Redux and the second one being the Blade Max Redux. You also get the Knight Rider Redux outfit and the Night Vibes Paraglider. And obviously the other one is just a weapon, so I'll get to that in a second. Now starting off the outfit, this thing looks absolutely incredible. Like the art design is just so satisfying to look at. It's amazing, it's tactical. It doesn't fit into the zombie apocalypse, but it still looks absolutely incredible. Like I'd give this outfit a nine out of 10. And the cool thing about it is that it glows in the dark, like really glows. So you can take some pretty cool screenshots or you know, some cool pics in photo mode. And next we have the paraglider, which is just, you know, a bunch of cats, but make sure you look at this properly because when I show you what it looks like in the dark, you're going to be amazed. And here's how the outfit looks in the dark, and here's the paraglider. Like, look at this thing. This thing is amazing. It looks so cool. Like, honestly, this is one of my favorite paragliders in the game. Now, up next, we have the two weapons. You can see on screen that they don't really do a lot of damage, and they only have one mod slot, but they do have a built-in blast mod for electricity, so that's something. Now these weapons don't do a lot of damage, but they are unique because they glow in the dark. And they look absolutely amazing. Like it's so satisfying to look at these weapons in the dark. So overall, the bundle, in my opinion, is worth it. Like it looks so much fun to use. It's aesthetically pleasing. And honestly, it's just a lot of fun. Next up, we have the Volcatronics Redux Gun. This thing was amazing in Dying Light 1, and it does not disappoint in this game either. It's really cool, it's got a lot of details, it looks amazing, matches the outfit. It does a moderate amount of damage as opposed to the other guns. It has 20 shots, a built-in scope, and the bullets glow when you shoot them, so pretty cool. And obviously this thing looks amazing at night, it glows quite a bit. A bit too bright in my opinion, but you know, still pretty cool. So overall, this bundle is really worth it. Like, the bundle and this weapon, I would honestly get, but it is not the best bundle. If you guys want to check out that bundle, click on this video right here. But if you want to check out other bundles, check out this playlist I made and let me know which one you think is the best. But once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.